Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, we are going to continue our diddly dee Fire Emblem Awakening stuff, but I wanted to test something. The old Hubbard tester. I, I, I just have to, at least a little bit. Let's see what he has to say. Wonder how your soldiers really feel about each other? Pick two units and old Hubbard will read the vibes. <laughs> Not the vibes to give his take on their true emotions for amusement purpose only. Well, let's see. There's a drum roll. <laughs> Way too attached. Seize as dependable. Here's one measure that will last. Sure. Let's see. Who should we do? How about we go with the one that the other one, the game threw at us. It's only for amusement purposes, but it's, it's like a, a silly thing. Fatal attraction admires lifestyle. Fatal attraction. Uh, maybe? Fatal. Hmm. I don't know why not. Let's see. Then again, this is old Hubba. I don't think we can trust him. Friend zone and possessive. Friend zone. He even looks sad in that in that, that image. That's a kind of amusing thing. Probably not all that like, important, but still. I find it interesting that these can pop up just about anywhere. A goddess icon and steel stuff. And a steel axe is on sale. We if we don't buy anything, it should be fine. So let's just see. Goddess Icon might be nice, but I don't know. I don't really have much need for money at this point. Hmm. Then again, this is on sale, so maybe grab it just cuz. Hmm. But Goddess Icon, though, it's a permanent two luck already. But luck isn't really all that important. We'll let you sit around for a bit. I guess apparently something happened at the barracks. Let's see. Well, he didn't even do anything and all of these events happened. All right, an affinity up. Sully and Vike. So what do you... <clears throat> so, what do you do to kill time? You hardly ever around camp. Usually I'm maintaining my weapons or training, but I go on walks too. And again, there's just a frickin' a Christmas tree in the back, and I don't know why. He's a Christmas tree. <laughs> and now it's a singular person. What will it be? Uh, is it Rickon or Muriel? Muriel. Ah, contentment. I finally organized my personal library by author and subject. By organizing a library, she has gained combat experience. And now these are basically just... Who knows? Maybe it might increase things or do something. I don't know. I don't think these have done anything, though. You know, you've grown very skilled. Care to pair up in the upcoming battle? Aptly put, teaming up ameliorates our chances of success. Very well, I am yours. You stay away from my man. That conversation didn't even do anything. I wonder if there's a bonus if you actually follow through and pair them up in the next battle. My, my cat just crawled up my toe because he's a silly little boy. And this again? I noticed you vanish from camp sometimes. Where is it that you go? I primarily read, and I put every book back exactly where I found it. So no one can find you. Once again, stay away from my man. Well, no doubt who's coming in this time. Why are you again? Wow, shoulder pads. Hey, what's so funny? Did I put my breastplate on backward? No, I'm not allowed to enjoy. Am I not allowed to enjoy a pleasant conversation? Again, poor man just looks sad. Although, I do like that at least the barracks stuff actually appears to be, like, unique to some degree, which is nice. But now we gotta do this. 
Uh, more than likely, it'll be dangerous. But... Well, let's see, I guess, and level people up and get affinity up and stuff. Well, first things first, we're gonna check over our... stuff. We'll have to go buy another heal, unless we already have a heal. We're already gonna take... store the jolt, store the resistance. Uh, Marth has nothing. Not even a weapon. He has a vulnerary. Yeah, you can keep the glass sword. Now the question is, who do we want to take with us? Well, first things first, levels. Level 10 Weavern Rider, but not that scary. So we're put in the middle. And unless these, like, forts start throwing out enemies... Hmm, a mercenary... Bullion... Elf Thunder! An Iron Axe. So they're wielding iron stuff. So they're at least decently. And what is that skill down there? Let us clicky-clicky. Hmm. Uh, and I forget. Is this correct? Yeah, they have the right thing. It would be amusing to me if the game l just lied about things. But let's see. Let's move you around. We'll level up Donald some more. Because I want to level up Donald. And we are definitely going to unselect you. Because <laughs> load star. No. Uh, we'll bring you in. Level you up some more. Pair you off of somebody. But who else should we bring in? Again, maybe Sumia. But who would we leave behind? Hmm. I guess Pan, because I'm going to be using Pan a lot in the actual battles and we don't want to use her Beast Stone too much because I don't know where we get a new Beast Stone. And it scares me. So we're going to not do that. Then I guess we'll bring in Sumia, level her up, and, uh, I don't know, see about things. Now I just need to decide who do we want to pair up with. Hmm. Because obviously we want Donald with you, so that you can, like, so that Donald can have the bonus defense of Frederick. In fact, we could actually put more people here because my main team is going to be used a lot in normal things in actual battles. So I guess we could further level up Virian and Sully because I'm basically, I'm going to be a basic bitch and just like set these guys together then. I suppose marry these two off if they get to that point. So, yeah. Now, map, let's see. Who do we want to pal together? I guess Sumia and Stahl can go together. You two will go together. I guess Longku can defend Lisa. And then again, Donald and Frederick can team up. And I guess this will be it. It's a, just a little fight, but... Save. I don't even know what, like... <laughs> that's just normal save, so I don't even know what that would do. But let's fight! Route the enemies! First things first, pair up enemy. Uh, <laughs> pair up enemies. Alright, everybody. Get ready to pair up and uh, kill each other. We are not safe anywhere. <laughs> so I guess first things first is we will pair people up. Hmm. I'll do that because 
there's no really, like, unless these guys throw axes, they're not gonna do much. So we'll just pair everybody up. And let them come to us, I guess. Good job, Stall. Good job, Stall. That is how you do it. Donnie is going to eat well on your corpse. And you missed. Good job, Lunku. I still don't know how to say... <laughs> uh, okay. That's not even your crit weapon. Hell yeah. Good job, dude. Everybody is defending everybody, and I love it. Everybody is getting crits, and I love it! Utterly amazing. I need to remember I don't need to bring my avatar all the time. Well, third, first things first. <laughs> Everything is scary. Well, first things first. Hmm. I'm trying to think where a good place would be to strike at enemies. I like the music that's playing. I'm just trying to decide where Virian should strike from, maybe. If we come here, he can attack the enemy and just utterly annihilate him. Even an iron bow would do good. So yeah, we're not going to let this guy get a hit off. We're just going to kill him. Good job, Sully. You did two damage. So it's a good thing we had Virian to knock that guy out. And a nice spread of skills. Please, avert your envious gazes. Hmm. Maybe come here and attack this guy. We should probably stay. Actually, let's see. Maybe uh, Donnie can attack this guy and kill him. Hmm. If he hits it once, yeah, and kill him, Donnie should be safe. Good job, Donnie. Yeah, Sumia can knock this guy out. Get a l get a little bit of leveling going. And level up your stuff. Good. Since this guy should be slow, we'll be able to maybe... But then he'll come down this route. And we might not get there. Yeah, maybe you can just come down here and kill this guy. I could use the Killing Edge to just one-shot him. Hmm. And then next turn... Head there. Actually, I'll just set him here and hope for the best. You know, I'll probably just keep attacking him. Don't hit the boy. Well, the boy will hit back. And another weak victim for Donnie, the next <laughs> next level. Or like next round. Oh, that's not good at all. 
Don't, don't you dare hit that. Good. Yeah, I'm just going to say, uh, you cut that out now. Well, actually... What if we send in... Sully? Let's send in Sully so she can do some damage. A secondary offhand archer shot. Good job. No need to apologize. That's why you apologized. You didn't kill him. What do you do when you need a distraction? I keep an eye on my brother. He's always breaking stuff when he trains. And go ahead and kill this guy. Gotta level up Donald. So that people be like, there's a kid with a, a bucket on his head. What is he doing out here? And Donnie's just like, fear me. Don't die, Donnie. Good job, Donnie. You've been, oh, that's the elf hunter. Jesus. Now kill this guy. Be gone, risen man. And a level up for the long coup. With a nice spread of skills. Better. And of course, we'll play some here. He snuck in some practice. If anyone needs it, it's me. Don't be rude to yourself. Hmm. Well, apparently that'll kill this guy, so, uh, sure. Go kill this guy. Apparently that guy has no defense. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. My lord. My lord. Hell yeah. Any other motherfuckers want to spawn? No. But, apparently we leveled up some supports. Huh? There you are, Lanku. I take it my brother talked to you? Uh. Oh, stop it. Yes, I'm a girl, but it's your job to guard me. So, no running away and being all weird, all right? Crom said there was a plot on your life. Is this accurate? Yeah, I guess somebody wants my sweet little head on a platter. Don't ask me why. You're of Ro You're of Ro I don't know. My brain was just like breaking there for some reason. Just tripping up on the L and the R. Loyal, royal, blah, blah, blah. Blarg. Blah. I don't know why. You're of royal blood. That's enough to make you a target. And any shadow could hide a knife. So we must ensure you're. Never alone. <laughs> My hero. I don't have to worry about a thing with you around. La la la. Don't be careless. Keep your eyes open. Death could lurk in any nuke or... <sighs> Surely there's someone else better suited to this task. Yeah, but they, you were just lazing around catching butterflies all day, so crumb. What? I certainly was not. <laughs> just, just kidding, Lanku. Kidding. I'm sure crumb was impressed by your skill and charm and good looks. I mean, out of everyone here, he's trusting you to keep his little sis safe. That's a pretty huge honor, right? Right? I suppose. Right. Right. So come on, no more grumbling. Let's shake hands and make nice. <laughs> oh, fine. No handshaking. We can just nod at each other. Sheesh, do you really have such a problem with women? women. I find them disconcerting. I will not interfere with my duty. Mm, maybe as a thanks for guarding me, I'll go ahead and fix your little problem. Uh, maybe not. <sighs> Fine. I'm gonna train then. You can just stand there and look dour. That, shoot <laughs> that shoots me. That suits me just fine. That's an amusing kind of dynamic going there.
I wonder what his deal is overall. Oh, apparently they're ready to marry, maybe. Well, like I said, I'm prepared to go down this path. Let's go. Hey. Varian. Greetings. Sully, what a prize that these eyes might gaze once more upon your beauty. My, my. Goodness, milady, your countenance is so very intense. I should think a lesser man might burst into flames on the spot. Do tell. <laughs> is it getting hot in here? I should be very relieved if you would only respond. <sighs> Enough! I yield, milady! Nothing is so daunting as a woman's silence! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it! It's all well and good for you to pester others whether they want it or not, but turn the tables and you change your damn tune. You can't handle the attention. No. This was a test? Rather beneath a lady of your bearing, I must say. Sorry. I can't get a word in edgewise with you if I play fair. I doubt anyone can with that sharpened tongue of yours. Besides, I needed to know at least one of your weaknesses beforehand. Yes, yes. Uh, before what, pray tell? Delving into the character of your future husband before you wed him? <laughs> right. Yep. Because frankly, I don't see- What? what? Uh, hold on just a moment. Are you serious? Yeah. Deadly so. Well, well, this is, is an honor to be sure, but I'm not... I haven't prepared myself. <laughs> Adding prone to ambush to that list of weaknesses. You have me at a loss, milady. You can do oh, this. where is your famous wit run off to? If I ever a moment called for poetry. I'm a lady, right? Paragon of grace and beauty. Don't leave me dangling here. My no, of course I... <clears throat> I hereby swear to leave none of milady's desires unmet, even at the cost of my life. It would be this humble man's great joy to accept your gracious offer. Well, I suppose that works. Barely. Not really the best you've got, Ruffles. But I... <laughs> Only jesting. That'll work just fine for me. Let's go ring shopping. Got the place picked out already. Let's move. And no lagging behind. <sighs> yes, milady. Hey! I can't hear you. Oh. Yes, milady. Come in, milady. That is adorable. I like them. They are great. Of course, it, they, it's just I like their dynamic. Like, Varian only started as kind of a weirdo. Hmm. But now the question is, who do I want to... Because I want to do some Reeking Box stuff. Like, maybe we could do some more DLCs, but I don't know. I want to do more Reeking Boxes. I know. We'll go to one that is maybe a bit simple we'll try hmm ah but first things first we should probably go and see let's see sumia sumia where are you sumia i'm brained we need a c rank weapon is iron c rank i wish it would told me my rank if i clicked on it but let's see iron i do okay, believe I'll iron the is the thing iron lance it is d so we could go higher if we wanted in fact, what are you carrying? You're already carrying an iron. I am dumb. We need stale. In fact, not that's iron. So I don't think we have... Well, <laughs> she's selling steel lances and steel axes, so maybe I should grab some. Take your time. Oh, in fact, while we're here, who has that bully on? Let's see. Oh, we don't want to sell. We want to buy. Go ahead and buy these. And we'll leave the got. But she's gonna disappear. I guess I'll buy this. Bye bye. Oof. We're gonna quickly save. And now we're gonna go and use the reeking box. Hmm. Let's see. Reeking box. Should be here. Oh yeah, secret book. Increases skill. We already have a goddess icon. Increases luck. So 
So we should really find people skill. Let's see. What does skill increase? Skill. Hit rate and frequency of critical hits. So one thing it could be that we find somebody with good skill. Like maybe Longku. Maybe we should raise his skill. Gaius's is pretty good. Could always be a nepotist and give it to me. In fact, I should probably give, let's see, where's Krom? Krom? Yeah, your luck's pretty good, so I should probably get the goddess icon. Use. But skill. Skill should go to... Hmm. Again, maybe Long Ku. His skill's already pretty high. Let's see, what skill again? And the frequency, because he is a crit guy, so yeah. We're gonna give you the secret book. Increase your skill. I hope there's nothing important about that book. Like, you give me a thing that can do a thing, increase stats, I'm gonna use it. And then, I probably should have looked it up, and I already saved over it. So I might as well look it up now. Uh, secret book. Is it any special? Let's see. Well, it appears in a bunch of games, so I doubt that it's important. Important. Uh, the relative utility varies from playthrough to playthrough and from game to game, depending upon average in evasion rates, whether or not skills are available, and whether or not the player chooses a low accuracy units. So yeah, it's just a skill increase thing. It's like, use at your own discretion kind of deal. But now we shall go... And Reeking Box! And let's see! How dangerous are you? First things first, we are surrounded on all sides by Cavalier, Wevern Rider, a scary Cavalier with a steel sword, Myrmidon, Mage with El Thunder and Bullion, a lot of horse dudes. This is Horse Hell. Alright then, Horse Hell. Gotcha. And the sparklies on an, are on opposite sides of the map. First things first, we need to decide on who we're gonna bring. Hmm. Well, since these guys have maxed out... We could probably bring in some other people. Like, uh, hmm. Weak again, so. Mm -hmm. I guess I could bring in Vike, because a bunch of these guys would be good, so. Hardly any good for you, and you're weak against horses. But you can smack up these armored people. I mean, I'm assuming that that's how that works. Maybe bring, uh, throw out Stall because he's weak to horses and these are all horses. Same thing with Sumia. Which is slightly sucky. Then we're going to keep Frederick just because he's on a whole nother level. Then again, maybe we could bring Sumia in, pair her with Frederick, and they can be, like, weak together. Although I do find it funny that... Sumia is weak to, uh, appears to be weak to Pegasi as well. Hmm, well, let's see. He's weak against armored foes. Hmm. I guess I could bring in Gaius. She's weak to horses and, again, don't want to use up her... Stuff. Hmm. Like, maybe bring in Stall and pair him up with somebody. Maybe pair him up with Donald. Maybe Donald will carry him. Hmm. Or maybe pair Donald and Vike, maybe? First things first, uh... Let's 
Let's see. We want to give you a steel lance so that you can actually do things. Hmm. His, let's see, do we have any axes he can use? Hand axe, which is a D, ladle. We do have the steel axe, so we'll give it to you since you can use it. And why do you have an iron axe? Stall. We really should give you like an actual sword. Let's see, any other, we also have a steel sword, which no one is using for some reason. But I'll save that for our more frontline things, but we'll give you this iron sword that nobody's using. And we really should have given you a better spear by now. You are like a really high, you are our master spearman. In fact, let's quickly look, view map. What weapons do these guys have? Short spear. Right. Axes and spears. Nope, they just come in various hand, uh, various things. Alright, so I guess we'll stick to spears. Or swords or whatever. Bleg. Gaius. He has an iron sword. Which fits him. We'll just have to... Mm. I could just store the 11 Iron Lance, then go Iron Lance, pull it back. But get a way of <laughs> equipping things. And is everyone good? He has his Iron Sword. Once again, we will store the 30 Iron Axe, excuse me, and bring it back. And we'll fight. Hmm. We'll pair you together so that she won't die. Pair you together. Well, actually, I should have her come to you. question is, where do we want to go? We could get try to get the drop on people. Like, just utterly annihilate this guy. Hmm. But that's where the boss is. Because they can maybe come this way. But then he'll take a lot of damage from the Steel Lance. Hmm. What about you? We could risk uh, our glass sword or our killing edge. Hmm. But what if we... And again, it's just that there's like... Hmm. We should more than likely try and get the drop on somebody. Like maybe we could just come up here and be like, fuck off and die. But then that would leave him surrounded. Hmm. Trying to think on how I want to do this. We could come up here and attack this guy. And we'll stave off on using Sumia at all because she would be obliterated. Use the killing edge to wipe out this guy. And then pair them together. Hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna smack this guy to death with an iron axe. Maybe go up steel axe just so that we have the better weapon if they get attacked, but at the same time, it's. Our boy, Frederick, he's never going to die, so we'll just use a normal Iron Axe. 
And it's far away from the boss. Good job, Sumia. Level up for Sumia for her aid in battle. With a nice spread of stats. Although I'm kind of scared for these guys now. Because no matter where they go, this I have a feeling that he's going to get annihilated. Poor guy. Probably should have shouldn't have brought him. Let's see. These two are the main threats, and he will be pull out. So it seems that He'll only be under threat from this guy on this side. And by everybody else on this side. Poor bastard. Let's see. I could just try and get him as far over here as possible. What I could try and do is just, like, move him all the way up here and then surround him with allies so that they might have a better chance at surviving. I think that's... Unless I throw this guy down here and then he becomes a potential target. Could go down here and try and smash this guy, but he takes so much damage that he's basically guaranteed to die. Because 31 to 18. That's a lot of damage. Maybe I should use the glass sword to just, uh, or maybe hope for a critical hit. Trying to think again. There's no way. Well, unless I go that way, then he's out. But then it's the other guys that then need to be worried about because they'll be able to hit him from anywhere. Which is again part of the reason why I want to come down here and like maybe use the glass sword. Again, because how much damage would you take if you did that? It would be just under half your health, but then all of these other fucks would come and get you. I feel like I have to go slightly defensive and have them come to me. He has Vulnary, I feel like. I feel like it might be best to... I don't know. I do not know. I'm gonna send him here so he gets a bit more bonus. All this tactical shit on the easiest difficulty. I feel like Vic's gonna die. Vague's gonna fucking die. Unless he misses. Vake is gonna fucking die. Probably quickly followed by... At least he gets a good spread out of it. Miss. Magically miss. Goodbye, Vake. Ogre's teeth! 
Not even old Teach can keep fighting in this state. What a bunch of rude assholes. So that's how that works. It's a throwing spear. And now they're gonna kill the other boy. F5, but you missed, you fool. At least even if they're gonna die, they're gonna get a bit of experience out of it. Go and smack this guy. Even with the bronze lance, we should probably keep it normal. <laughs> he would probably die. Not even probably. He would die. I feel like Frederick is going to just, uh, tank everything. Hmm. Finish this guy off of Killing Edge. Let's do it. Goodbye. I guess we'll go ahead and have him poke this guy to death. Og indeed. Level up for Donnie. With a nice spread of stats. Hmm. So we can't get to the allies just yet, so he's not super scary come down here and just utterly obliterate this guy. Or I could choose to obliterate this guy. Hmm. I think I should come here and obliterate this guy to cut off their advance and lure them down to attack Frederick. Although they probably know that that's a suicide move, so they might not do that. You miss and now you die. Frederick is basically our win button. We're like, oh no, we're gonna lose. Send in the Frederick. Likely to die. Even that's likely to die. I could, all I can really do is take the Vulnery and, like, pray. It seems. Maybe move here. No. Because hmm. likely to die. Likely to survive with one hit. So move here and use the Vulnery. Got it. <laughs> Goodbye, Donnie. You're gonna die. Like, literally, everyone's gonna gang up on you. Goodbye, child. Sorry, Ma. How is this harder than the higher chapter leveled Reek battle? Ouch! I ain't never been hit so hard. Better get out of here and heal up. I cannot imagine what your like heartbreaking death is on actual mode. Like if you're playing on a mode where your characters can actually die, what the fuck does he say and how terrible is it? Once again? Frederick just mopping everyone up. This is why we gave him defense. No knight fears the slow but steady road. But I do... F oh, Luna? What's that skill? I think I remember that from... Fire Emblem Heroes. Don't die. How did that fucker hit 44%? And now you're gonna get one shot by this other guy. Miss, it's a 
Everyone's dying to this reeking box. Cryvens. That's not the voice I gave you before. Cryvens. Got careless and paid the price. Time to beat feet out of here. Well, basically, you're gonna die. Unless I pair you up with somebody or go on a murder spree. Hmm. Honestly, could go after you. Could go after anyone. I'm gonna say come here so I can stand next to you. Oh, now you missed your 44%. Jerk. No matter what, you're probably going to get s annihilated. What I could probably do is heal you, because again, probably going to get annihilated. At least you too can get a dying level up out of this. So I guess... Killing Edge and Hope for Crit... Stall didn't even come in to help. Who knows, maybe he'll miss the 69 and be not nice. You're gonna die. Goodbye, Lisa. How very rude. All of these guys are hitting their upper 60s. Hilariously, he failed to bodyguard you. Sorry, but I can't risk more wounds. It's up to you, Krom, who's not even in this battle. We can handle this. You can do it. And now you will die. Everyone is missing Lung Ku for some reason. He's the only one that gets to live. He's the only one. At least he gets a good spread of skills and misses out on magic. Which, good. Because he's not going to be magical. I guess I'll come switch so Sumia can get a kill in. Who's scarier? Who scares me more? Apparently this guy was weak to Pegasi the whole time. So I guess I'll smack you. Not to mention, there's just been so m there were so many risen on this map. Feels like so many more than anywhere else. Could kill him, or could kill him. Oddly enough, you do more damage. So I say we should pro I'll equip the iron sword and kill this guy because he's ranged and he scares me. Give me that bully on, asshole. The level up for Stahl. Even though everyone died this map, everyone really got a level up. Even Frederick, I think. And leveled up his sword to B. Zero? How? Does Stahl just have that good of a defense? Could have used that critical while ago, Long Ku. Oh, now he's going to die, and we're not going to get the the shinies at all, because we're too worried about surviving. Then again, the shinies aren't that important. They're minor improvements to things. But alrighty then. Reeking Box Arena is scary. 
Understood. Reeking box arena is scary. Guess we'll come here, we'll sell the bullion. Who got the bullion, in fact? I completely forget. We'll sell the bullion. Then I guess we'll buy another reeking box. So why not? Again, this place was less scary. But then again, it could have just been the people I brought that made it less scary. Ah, we increased some stuff. Sumi and Frederick. Miles there, how do they act around each other? Hello. Frederick, what, on, what are you doing up so early? Ah. Good morning, Sumi. I'm inspecting everyone's weapons and armor to ensure all is ready for battle. Huh? But it's not even done yet. Don't you ever sleep? No. I have sworn to serve Krom and the Shepherds to the best of my ability. As a commander, Krom bears burden far heavier than any of ours. It would be ill behoo yeah. It would ill behoove me to neglect any opportunity to lessen that load. He's fortunate to have that. Yeah, I don't know why my brain stumbled on that. He's fortunate to have you. Imagine letting you <laughs> getting up this early just to check gear. Well, I did not stir this morning simply to satisfy myself as to our battle readiness. I also exercised, performed a number of weapon drills, and patrolled the camp. You are just... You are just all over the place, aren't you? Like, not even in a bad way. He's just, like, actually... Just going forth and doing shit. Man. I then stoked the fire, ready the makings for morning tea, and consumed one egg, but a single egg. <laughs> you will give me an egg. You are... Funny man, a single egg? Why a single egg? That's my question. Why a single egg? What? Uh, right. Oh, I see I scared off a noisy flock of birds nesting too near my lord's tent. Then, with no other passing ta pressing task, I took the time to inspect our equipment. Good heavens. Apologies, my lady. You must find my prattle to be terribly dull. I've often been criticized for some by uh, for what some might consider an excess of zeal. Such devotion appears to make my comrades uneasy. Well, I think it's wonderful. What? <laughs> what? How? Yes. You do? Absolutely. You're an inspiration, Frederick. There's no other word for it. Look at all you do for Crom. It makes me wish I was more like you. I'm so sick of being a, the girl whose main contribution is falling on her face. I know we all need levity in these times, but I would still prefer to do more. My thanks. I don't know what to say. You're the first person who has ever understood what I'm trying to do. He's a funny man. That is who you are. A funny, funny, funny man. That is who you are. Perhaps we should join our causes to each other. We should... We could gr be the grease that keeps the shepherds running smoothly. Here goes. Now that is a splendid idea. I like that. I like how basically every single one of Frederick's, like, conversations with everybody is, I'm doing a thing. Might I witness you do thing slash help with thing? Of course. Let us go do thing. And we're going to use the reeking box here and see what happens. It's a thief boy. Let's go fight the thief boy. See what thief boy has to say. Now again, who do we want to take? Do want to level up Donald, but we've been leveling him up, and so let's put him aside for now. Maybe, hmm, we'll bring Maribel in, maybe. Let's see, do we want to bring, maybe throw Longku out? But then who? Maybe, hmm. Hmm. Change the side. I can't the da. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe bring in some of the mages, our backup mages, level them up some. I wonder if Pe Elwind only works on Pegasi or if it will actually annihilate any flying people. I can select one more. I'm, I'm dumb. 
Let's see, who else? Let's see, because we have Vike. I think we should bring in. I don't know. My brain's just like, ah, we should pair these two together because he likes sweets, and I just want to see what their the possibility is there. So let's let's run with this, and now let's view map. Ah, there aren't that many flying people this time around, but there's still a lot of scary people. Alright, Sumia will pair with Frederick again, because, uh, archers. Bullion, let's see. Is there anything particularly scary? There are these guys, who again are weak to things. He has a bullion. Seraph robe? What's a seraph robe? Permanently increases magic... Well, then, and what the hell is that? Underdog. If foe's level is higher, for advanced classes, add plus 20. Well, you're gonna be annoying, aren't you? And what's that skill? Patience when under attack. Oh, yeah, what, did, what is Luna? Have enemy defense resistance when attacking. Trigger percent skill stat. Interesting. Let's see. Yes, this is all we can do. Let's fight! As always, pair you together. Well, hmm. So at least you'll be safe for one turn here. We'll throw you together. We'll throw you guys together as well. We'll have everyone bundled together so everyone's safe and sound. And he'll only do one damage. You fool! And plus, if a bunch of characters take a lot of damage... Not to worry about much, but these Blight guys, they scare me. If I wanted to, I could run somebody up there. In fact, let's see. Who do we want to level? Because we have Muriel level 4. Rickon level 4. Hmm. I guess we'll go ahead and have Muriel... Blast them. Burn alive, zombie man. Asinine knave. Asinine knave. What do you ever do to you? That won't even kill you. So we have to use our steel axe if we want to kill you. Or my iron... No, not even my iron lance. Hmm. What about this guy? Thief on thief action. Hmm. Trying to decide who we want to poke. I guess I'll poke him with my iron axe and then let Gaius get the kill. Then maybe we can have our healers do some healing when combat's not bad. I will go ahead and poke you with my sword. Sorry, bro. Thief on thief action. <laughs> Random crit. Okay. <laughs> Super spin! Do a Beyblade! Sure, dude. Level up to C. I guess I'll... Hmm. I'll leave them here to guard the mages. Because they're probably going to get poked a lot. Oh, shit. 
That's not good. Mariel's probably gonna die. At least Mariel's gonna get a level up. Hmm. I probably... Hmm. Please, miss. Goodbye, Muriel. Inconceivable. In such a wounded state, I will only hinder my comrades. Logic dictates I withdraw. And I wanted to level you up more. Poor boy. Ah, right, you should be able to kill this guy. Booyah! Good job, Gaius. Our friends over there died, but you get a level up. Not bad spread. I can come here and blast this guy of magic, but probably miss. Because he is at a Fort. Hmm. Let's see. Come here and stab this thief. I'm trying to think things out. here and could kill this thief but then he wouldn't get hmm, bonuses bonuses trying too hard to think on bonuses plus sumia hmm. what I'll do is I'll set him here and attack this guy to weaken him Even though the AI will probably target Rickon next and people will suffer. Then we're going to send him here. Then again, maybe I shouldn't do that because then Sumia might just get obliterated. That's another thought to have. Could send him here. Abolish this fool. Get a level up for stall. Only two. And he's so happy about it. Yes, progress. Hmm. Actually, this might not be a bad idea. So form a wall of my own units to stop them from getting in. I'll go ahead and abolish this twink. Be gone. Hmm. Considering that we kind of want to, I guess... I should be using sword more, so I guess I'll send the iron lance away. Oh hell, I didn't know you could move that. Oh, cause I don't. I guess my uh, poor guy. Ah, oh, but he's, he's gonna die! Huzzah! The boss just decided to die. Congratulations. See? I can hold my own. Grad, you, you get a robe now. It would be amusing to see Maribel whack a guy with the staff. Goodbye, fool. And level weapon B. Everyone's just going to die. Again, what are these things? It is just a sludge man in a loincloth. 25 damage twice. 
Why, though? I just realized his swordsmanship is low, so it wouldn't do much. We need to give him a bronze sword. Hmm. First things first, we're going to... Let's see. Heal you, maybe, so we can level up Maribel, but then again, if we really want to level up our ma our healers, we could, like, easily kind of do that. And I would say do it here, maybe blast him and get more bullion, maybe. Hmm. Actually, that might be a good idea. You already leveled up Rickon. Let's blast this fool of magic! Go ahead and smack this guy. Again, Sludge Man. Why? And a level up for the boy. A little sugar in my tank and watch out. and we will, hmm, could attack you and then allow this guy, oh, but he, kill him, no. Don't give him a chance with Sumi on the field. I don't want his bonus damage to kill me. You inflict too much pain. Now you must die. Poor Muriel, though. She didn't get to do much today. And you get to kill this guy. How happy is that? Almost a level up for stall. My lord. My lord. Mariel is dead. Now we just need to go and sell more and get more. Just because we can. First things first. That, let's, we'll have to see, because I don't think, you yeah, have to see, and I don't think his stuff, we need a better sword for him. And another bullion. And of course, just you, because we can. Breaking box, activate. Because we can. Well, if we want, we could continue the story. I kind of want to do another reeking box. Because I wonder. Hmm. I guess what I could maybe do is do reeking box grinding on my own time. And, like, only go until, like, characters, like, get support with each other. Let's see. Gaius and Lisa, what's your dynamic? Now this goes there, uh, through here, then I just loop this thread and... Ouch! Hey. You alright there, princess? What's going on? I'm trying to learn needlework! But I'm mostly just poking holes in my dumb finger! You should wash and dress those wounds, you know? Huh? Yeah, whatever. They're just pen pricks, see? Hardly bleeding at all. <sighs> Small wounds can become infected as easy as large ones. Here, princess, let me take a look. She's fine. You're going to be all stubborn about it. Just stop calling me princess, all right? It almost sounds sarcastic when you say it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Just a friendly nickname is all. I give them to everyone. Hey. Yeah, well, I bet you didn't give Krom a nickname, did you? It's so unfair. He risks life and limb nearly every day, but me, no. People hover over around me if I have so much as a sewing accident. <sighs> if it makes you feel better, this is the worst sewing accident I've ever seen. Gods, you'd think I was made of glass or something. Hey, easy with the bandages there. My hand looks like a grapefruit. Huh? You pierced a vein, princess. Lucky it wasn't worse. Do we have to? <laughs> ah, cheer up now. Let me see what you're sewing there. Oh, it's, uh, it lo looks like 
A three-legged ogre? No, wait. A whalefish. Eating a sailor? Huh? It's a kitty cat. A cat? Really? Uh, maybe if I turn it this way? It's not done yet, okay? Right. Hmm. For a cat, why don't you lengthen this and then a few stitches here? Huh? Holy cow, guys, that's amazing! I didn't know you could sew. Yep. I've always had nimble fingers. Useful skill in my trade. Wait, well, thanks. um, thanks, I guess. <sighs> my pleasure. Well, perhaps you might take a, up a safer hobby, hmm? Like, say, jousting. <laughs> I like their dynamic, too! Their dynamic amuses me. Let's see. What can I fix you with? What can I fix you with? I guess I should buy an extra... Hmm. First things first I should probably do is quickly see. Frederick, you are a D rank, so you definitely need a bronze sword. Let's go buy carry only the finest. a bronze sword for you, so you can actually do shit. Level up your swordsman stuff. And I'm wondering where I should reeking box next. I could try a reeking box up here. Hmm. Really? This place wasn't bad. Oh yeah, the Seraph robe! Who deserves the Seraph Wolb? Store all units' items of the convoy. Yeesh. Let's see. Really, who needs health the most? Like, a frontliner, because I have a lot of health, but I'm also a high level. Chrome is also the same. Like, maybe Sumia? could use with more health? Hmm. Because Lisa... Hmm. hmm. I'm trying to think. Who deserves health? Obviously, we should give the health to the card. Because let's quickly see. The Seraph robe increases max HP by 5 permanently. Again, we could give it to him if we just wanted him to be overpowered as hell. Hmm. Maybe give it to one of our mages so they don't die as much. Like Muriel. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Maybe give it to you just because I can. Then again, if I was smart, my mages wouldn't be put in that position as much. But I'm a dumb. So I'm going to give it to you. Have more health. And let's go ahead and reeking box the same place, because we can. And it's horsemen this time. Let's see. A Pegasus Knight, eh? Normal horses and Pegasus Knights. At least it'll take him a while to get down. So yeah, Pegasus Knights and Normal Knights. Could probably maneuver around the fort, maybe. Maybe I could charge this way, annihilate this guy, and take this fort area to fend off from multiple directions? Let's see. We'll pair stall up with you again. I'll do that so that they can get together again, and I think this is a good layout. Let us fight! Again, we'll miss out on sparklies. But that's life. Although if I really wanted to, I could charge Frederick up there, maybe. And could come over here and just annihilate this guy. Level up my bronze sword some. And he wouldn't even be able to hit. And that would also bring the horseman up here to try things out. Ooh, and that might even help uh, level up Rick in some. Everyone is in danger everywhere. 
probably because of this asshole. Basically. These two assholes. Hmm. Yeah, what I could do... Hmm. All right. You're gonna go ahead and distract our enemies. And that might actually work out well. Maybe. Lou, you're just gonna annihilate this poor man! Just annihilate this poor man! Well... I was gonna leave him for Sumia, but Sumia decided to kill him anyway. He just activated Lunas. He's like, I want this twink to die. All right, I'm going to. Hmm. I'm gonna set them in here for protection, just in case. To maybe. Oh, good job, Lisa. Hell yeah. Okay. Apparently, Gaius is the enemy of all Pegasus Knights. I guess good thing we didn't pair him off to Sumia. Maybe, I guess. Now smack him with your sword. And this... Sumi and Frederick are just like, I'm going to annihilate everyone who should live. Level up for the Frederick. And a nice spread of skills. I must admit I've outdone myself. Hmm. Who deserves to death? I guess I can annihilate you. Let's go ahead and annihilate you. Get out of here. Flippity flip all the sword. Then I'll come down here and I'll smack him so Stall can level up some. And to level up for Stall. Even though, again, only two pips, and he's so happy about it. And then I'll put Frederick here to just guard Rickon. I should have placed him there, and then... Ah, oh well. Ah, oh well. Double oh well. Yeah, you missed, you fool! My magic out magic's your magic. All of the Pegasus Knights hate Gaius. Why? Well then, I guess I can smite you. Or I could smite you. Hmm. Uh, I'll just smite you. Get a crit. <laughs> All right, then sure. Sure thing. Why not? Just annihilate that twink. This twink abolishes the other twink. And get some bully on. Then I guess you can smack this guy as well. You just get to annihilate all of them. We done? Dee da 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 dee. Sweet. And he learned movement plus one. Good for you. You can go places faster. And then I guess I'll go ahead and heal this poor fool. Level up Maribel, I guess. How the hell did you get uneven? All right, then. And I'll just leave him here. Never mind, he 
Unless this guy wants to die, which it seems like he's gonna die. And now the leader can come die as well, I guess. And again, we're not gonna get to the sparkle. Never mind, this guy might actually live some. Never mind, this guy might actually die! Okay! Double Luna! The game really just doesn't want me to access the sparklies in the reeking boxes. Okie dokie. Sure. Double Luna. All the way, I guess. All right, then. B rank Sumia. I'm so sorry, Frederick. No. It's quite all right, milady. I suppose it is a bit complicated the first time. I can't believe I got lost patrolling the camp. Ah, Zoro level of things, I see. Zoro level navigation. So embarrassing. I don't know how I managed to drop that potion, that expensive potion. Although you did agree the broom was worn out before it broke, so that's probably... Oh gosh, and the fire! I'm so sorry about the fire. You have a spare tent, right? Always yes, well, look on the bright side. You did a splendid job pulling weeds. I don't see a single straggler in this entire camp. Yes. Well, I always liked little making little chains and bracelets out of flowers. <laughs> uh, you did just pluck weeds, yes? Not the flowers from the flower beds. <laughs> flower beds? Oh, horse plop, it's true. All I'm good for is falling on my face. I'm gonna go back to bed and pull the covers over my head. No. Please, milady, no. You mustn't give up. Huh? But... Never fear. Most important part of any battle is that you give your all. Everything you did today was out of consideration for your fellow shepherds. And if the results were less than optimal, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. So long as you strive to help people, success will eventually find its way to you. <sighs> oh, Frederick, if you really think so, then I promise not to give up. Perhaps I could make little flower necklaces for everyone. No. Please don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like their, I like their dynamic. How about you install? Hey. Maribel, about that favor I asked you earlier. <sighs> uh, oh, I do declare, my stars and garters. Frankly, my dear Krom, I don't, uh, hmm? um, Maribel? <sighs> uh, wh wh where am I? Is that you, Stahl? Oh. You've been studying too much, Maribel. You need to take a break. You can't even keep your eyes open anymore. <sighs> Quite frankly, sir, my rest is, uh, Oh, pardon me. What I mean to say is that it's none of your concern and I'm quite all right. Come on. That's not all right. I just caught you sleeping on your feet. Are you feeling dizzy? Feverish? Any sudden chills? I told you I'm fine. I had a spot of indigestion earlier, but that's all. So, uh... Then I insist you tr try my special tonic. It works wonders on stomach ailments. <sighs> well, if you insist, thank you. This should keep me going for a few more days. Hey. Now, now, you need, need to sleep properly, too. Yes. Yes, I know that's... Uh, <sighs> uh, Maribel? Maribel? I like Stahl. He just has a friendly relationship with everybody. And I guess we've done enough of that. So I think we're good to go to do another... Another chapter. Because I think that's what I'll do. I'll do a chapter... And then do a bunch of reeking boxes to raise people's affinities and levels and stuff. And, hmm. But I guess first things first, I should manage inventory. We'll take the steel store from you. Store that. You can keep the bronze sword and the axes and the silver lance as your backups. Let's see. Bullion. Let's see. Is there anything that we want to take from people? We should take the Iron Axe and store that. We should be fine. Hmm. You should be fine. I'll maybe... Uh, we'll let you keep the shock stick, I suppose. Hmm. We'll let Donnie stay. Mend. You can sell the bullion. You, you can keep that. You can keep that. Keep that. Everything seems good. Everything's 
good. Let's go to the next chapter. Chapter 7. Incursion. Because we're taking her, like, uh, the exalt to the other palace that's hidden away from people. And who's that green guy? Ah, hmm. uh, my poor feet. I got blisters the size of eggs. <sighs> oh, it's not so bad, Lisa. Just a healthy little stroll. How are you holding up, Neon? <sighs> my legs feel like pudding. Your endurance astounds me, Crom. <laughs> Should I carry you? You can carry me. No, seriously, I would really be okay with you carrying me. <laughs> Hierarch. Hmm. Yes. Is something troubling you, Hierarch? You keep glancing up at the peaks. <sighs> hmm. Well, I'm just a bit nervous, I'm afraid. G ghastly times, these. Has he sold us out? Um. Crom? Who is that? The Hierarch? He's been a friend of the House Elise, Elise for many years. He guided Emmerin during the early years of her rule. Why do you ask? Hmm. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something feels... Brigands! Hey! <laughs> Time to die, Princey! <clears throat> Plugging soldiers! Damn! How did they know we were here? Everyone, prepare for battle! I'm guessing the Hierarch sold us out for some reason. Well, first things first, view map, and then we can decide. We have a bunch of flying dudes. Hmm. Just a whole bunch of dudes. But I don't... I'm not really that... S <gasps> Medium bullion, you say? Hmm. And a lot of flying dudes. But apparently they're weak to flying, so maybe we might have Sumia pair with Frederick and just go out there and abolish them all. But else wise, I think we'll we'll put da -da -da -da, Donald away. And we'll bring in Pan. Because Pan is good. But who should we pair with Pan? I, I'm curious to what their... I, I think I might do that. I want to see their sea level. All right. Uh, uh, I think that... Let's see. Guess I'll pair Maribel with Rickon. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. For this fight... I think this should do good. Although I think I'll move that around. Hmm. Ba ba ba. I'm trying to think. I think this should do good. Let us save. And go forth! <sighs> Smell that, men! The winds of fortune are blowing our way. Hold, sir! I am the man King Gangrel told you about! Did you not receive orders to take me to your protection? I've orders to protect a man, true, but I see no man here. Only a pig, a rasher of traitorous bacon that sold out his own sovereign. And what do we do with little piggies? Well, you... I mean, perhaps you let them go free? <laughs> oh, are you a chicken now? Bark, bark! We've a whole barnyard in our midst! Well, it don't matter what you are. The axe will fall just the same! <laughs> ah! And we didn't even get to fight and save him or anything. Amusing. <laughs> right. Now for the main event. By moons in, they'll be erecting statues of me in the capital. Ho there, Ulysseans! Give me the fire emblem and your winch of a ruler and spare yourselves a gory end! Fila, take Imran to the rear of the column. We'll fend off these blackguards. Also, I had a, a thought idea. What if... Dastard... Because they used it like twice. What if Dastard is literally just 
like the noun version of dastardly. <laughs> That's what I think. Just had to quickly pause the recording to lift the cat out of the room. Sometimes, sometimes he's fine being here, sometimes not. But let's see. Oh, fuck, I'm not here. Damn it. All right. I quickly reloaded things so we can add me back. I forgot that I moved things around a bit, so... Hmm. To add me, I... Because I wasn't in there, right? Where's me? I'm down here. So who do we want to move out? So that I can be added in. Because... Lisa will be par paired with Gaius, just cuz. Sumia with Frederick, so Sumia can survive longer. Hmm. Maribel and Stahl. But who do I want to take out, though? That's the question. I guess I could remove Maribel. Maybe. Hmm. Because we don't really need two, and plus we can try and level her up more. There. Save again. Uh, and then move things around. Okay, things seem good. We will do it again. And we will skip ahead. Route the enemy. Now that I'm here, and we can do things. Right together so we can annihilate fools, presumably. Get that defense up. Can maybe come out here and utterly annihilate some fools. Although, let's see. So yeah, I think I'll go ahead and just start wiping out these guys with Sumia. Because we can. We're over a cavern. But we're still on solid ground for the sake of Frederick. It would be amusing if he was just floating there. Floating through the sky. Although that leaves poor Stall on his own. Poor Stall. Wait. Dang it. Hmm. Actually. We'll move over here, but we will switch so they don't die. And Muriel will be moved here. Yeah, well, because the flying dudes aren't in range, I don't think so. Yeah, this is good. And stall will... Hmm. Stall can stay there. Yeah. Good job. You missed. And now get crit! Because I was talking, it almost sounded like he said, take this fucker. And you picked somebody that can fight back. Why? And you picked somebody who's going to murder you. Sumia has been brought to eat <laughs> weapons for lunch. question is, who do we want to feed? Yeah, just annihilate this guy. There's no way he's going to live. Uh. But there doesn't seem to be much rush, so that we could come down here, switch, 
and heal. If I wanted to, I could maybe draw out some fools. So yeah, we will wait here. Hmm. First, we're going to equip your iron sword so you don't do things. Wait. I'll move here. And I will equip my thunder. And we will wait. And we wait. We'll just take it slowly. I guess I'll move them back just so I can. You have picked somebody who can annihilate you. Dropkick this... Oh, okay, crit time. Jesus. I suppose you tried. Went full on Sonic on him. No. Cordelia? Uh, no. Pagan's here as well. Who are you? Be Prince Crom, Captain Fila, beware! Are they coming from behind or what? What the hell? Who are you? Are you friend? Are you friend? Enemy reinforcements to the rear! They'll be upon us soon! Is that God's Cordelia? Why is it a surprise? Cordelia? Right. She's one of my knights. Young yet... Young yet, but quite gifted. I don't know why. The ye olde speech has got me off guard for some reason. But she was stationed on the border. Why... Oh, gods, could it mean... Uh, she did literally come out and say, Lo, enemies coming. Run. Hide. They are coming. From the rear, you idiots. Do you not have ears? Do you not have ears? Are you about a fool? Are you about a fool? You run. You fool. Well, I guess you can join stalls so we can stop being alone, I guess. Let's see. They're coming from behind. Does that mean that there's a timer now, or what? I guess it doesn't really matter. We could probably just put people in danger and let everyone take care of it. Like... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Hmm. Let's see. Stalia, you are a level 7 Pegasus Knight. I guess uh, you can take over, because why not? And switch back, so no, no evils. Leave the mages alone! Oh fuck, he can hit that much? That's a scary thought. Luckily he missed. Jesus. Why do all the scary people attack my mages? Oh, okay, another crit. Neat. She's just on a critting binge. Hell yeah. Any Tegu would be pleased. How do you even say that? Yeah. Tegal. And you missed, fool. And you came to uh, die, basically. You have come to die. Sure, you have axe, but Pegasus. Apparently Pegasus is better than Wevern. Yes, please, feed yourself to damnation. Are you gonna get crit too? Okay, good. What the fuck? 
She zigzagged like a fucking Naruto motherfucker. What? <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Possibility of a dying in there, then we will let friend take over, so that less likeliness to die. Be obliterated. I did it. Yes, you did, small man with a big hat. Man, you got a steel sword. You gonna murder people with that? I forgot to sell my bullion. God damn it. Now the question is, who do I want to kill? Or uh, use to kill? Hmm. hmm. And then I also need to decide who I want to send down there to get the sparkly. Hmm. I guess I could send Sumia up to just annihilate this twink. Good job, Frederick. You kill Stoll. Place you there. There is a time limit. Hmm. Really, I just need to... I doubt anybody is going to be able to hurt anybody but the mages. Unless they come from behind and are annoying about it. Then again... Could send me up. I'll send you here, but we'll let him take some battering. And we'll come up. But I will equip my bronze sword. Are you going to be smacked to death? Get smacked, thief man. How do your clothes transform with you? Well, that's uh, very rude. You only have, if you hit this. Okay, good. Because I was offended by that percentage. Like near actually. I'm interested. Let's go ahead and place you there. You get the shinies. What's this? Ooh, I can't wait to show Krom. Underdog bow. Neat. But, uh, you're not going to see Krom. You see, uh, Krom is my guy. He is my boy. My man. You wouldn't dare steal my man, would you? Doesn't really matter where we place anybody. Everybody's gonna be hit. So. I guess I'll just place him here. Maybe send you up. Hmm. Won't be able to kill him. Who knows? Maybe he will. Maybe he'll get a crit. Let's see. And he missed anyway. Fool. Again, would be hilarious if one of the healers just like, I'm gonna bonk you on the head. Schmeck. Guess I'll go ahead and blast you. Doubt you can hit me. I have a 100% chance you're gonna die. Phew. And a level up for Rickon. I guess I'll send you down there so that you can, like, double up. Hmm. I guess since you're friends, you can do that. An 8% chance to... Man, you are... You are an unlucky Plegian. I love the camera angles. I love this. It's amazing. A nice spread of skills. 
And this is only the start of what I can do. You have picked death. And you missed. You picked death and missed. Goodbye. Who needs weapon triangles when I have magic? You have picked death again! And you missed again! I thought my Pegasus Knights would annihilate you, but instead you just decided to die. I could just place my Pegasus Knights and my mages and just let them rip these guys to shreds. And let everyone go on ahead. <laughs> That's what I could do. And then Krom could like one-shot the other guy if he decided to fuck with us. I'm gonna do that. I am not afraid of any of you. I am not afraid of any of you. Unless you get a crit, of which I doubt. Hmm. Darn. I'll reckon if you can just help them. Let's see. Give him some of that. We'll switch because we can. And we'll place there. Lure people in. Well, that's mean. That's double mean. Maybe it's double mean. Yeah, if that hit, that, 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 that 22 hit, I'll be... You know what would have been hilarious? Is if I said, if that 22 hit, and then immediately the boy got a 22 hit crit, I'd be like, oh, well. I think that would be hilarious. And like I said, Prom got the... <laughs> killed the dragon. Hello, and welcome to your death. Unless they all go for Cordelia. Maybe. Maybe death resides for Cordelia. Hopefully they don't all go for Cordelia. That would be mean. Good, they didn't all go for Cordelia. <laughs> and Frederick decides, I'm gonna kill Steel today. I'm going to come switch and oh because people are in the way right so then we'll, we'll come over here and let Pan kill the archer kill this man with drop kick <laughs> then we'll move in Switch and let her fire blast that plague to death. And level up for Muriel. Let's see. Who deserves this kill more? I'm gonna give it to you. You deserve it. Kill this guy. Annihilate this man. Send him tumbling down the mountain range. And a nice spread of skills. I hardly knew I had such strength. I'll go ahead and send her up here to get the other sparkly. I snuck in some practice. If anyone needs it, it's me. Not that scary. The question is... If I wanted... Hmm. Hmm. If 
he had there's no way that he would and you can stay there and not die well that's a very rude person to pick goodbye Muriel I'll splatter you across the canyon floor he does 21 damage goodbye Muriel inconceivable Again, they always target my poor mages. I guess I should have brought them back. Oh well. Jerk. Now the question is... Who should I give to you to kill? Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. I could give it to Sumia to level her up even more. Maybe I could give it to the boy. We'll move him here. We'll blast him with magic. This is for killing Muriel for this map, you bastard. Almost another level up from that. If we come over here, switch, he would almost die. Oh, he would be guaranteed to die. Oh, uh, what if we went there? Possibility is likely for him to die. Because he does do a lot of fuck off damage. Hmm. But now he would die to that. Hmm. Again, uh, then again, if she hit, he died. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Because if I came here, switch staff moves a distant ally to adjacent space. Nope. This is why I don't like the healing items in this game because you waste a turn healing. Like, no matter what I do, the likelihood of her dying is great. Because unless he misses, and it's a 60... Hmm. There's also the possibility of him dying. That would leave him with 1 HP! Unless he gets a crit. In which case he earns it. Go ahead, Lanku. Especially if he gets a crit from this. I would laugh. I would be devastated and I would laugh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Pan decided I get a kill. You doves think killing me would change anything? <laughs> Even now, my brothers storm across your precious border. Go on, dear exalted coward! Run! Flee while they slaughter your subjects! Save yourself! Let their faith in you bleed away with the rest. Go ahead and send that away. They're gone. Your grace, my prince, run! As far and as fast as you can! More Plagians are coming, not a half a day's march behind you! What? Cordelia, what are you doing here? Tell me the border remains secure. <laughs> that I could, milady, but it would be false. Gangrel himself led his might against us. The end was upon us when my night sisters begged me fly and warn the exalt. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. A 
gods, I can still hear the screams. Peace, Cordelia, you did your duty. The sisters rightly prized your youth. You've many years yet to keep the legacy alive. No. But I abandoned them. I'm weak. Their legacy deserves better. Sometimes fleeing takes the most courage. And they knew that. Now pull yourself together. Let the faith they showed in you give you strength. <laughs> Captain Phila, I... How can I go on like this? Uh, the ground shaked, okay. They were my... my family. Gods. Oh, gods. Damn those monsters. I must return to the capital. Please, Your reconsider. grace, I cannot advise. I should never have left. If it's discovered I'm away when this news comes to light, the people could panic, riot. More Ulyssians could needlessly die. Here, Krom, I entrust this to you. The Fire Emblem. <clears throat> the Fire Emblem? Yes. Take it to Ferox, to safety. What? And leave you? No, Em. No, par no part of House Elise matters more than the emblem. It possesses tremendous power, but too much blood has been shed over it already. I hope it finds a better guardian in you than it did me. God. Em, come on! You can't... Don't talk like that! You sound like you're ready to give up. Krom. I'm not giving up, Krom. I'm only giving what I can. Sister! Em, please! This is madness! Just wait! Let me go with you! Lisa. Stay with Krom, Lisa. Or Lissa, as they said. I command it. Why? This isn't fair! It's not fair! I know our people need you, but we need you too! <laughs> Dry your tears, love. This is not goodbye. Your grace. Death flag! There's a death flag! Emerin's gonna die! Your grace, the Pegasus Knights will accompany you to Yalistal. Thank you. Very well, Fila. Thank you. Right. I will keep the prince and princess safe, your grace. You have my word. Yes. I know you will, Frederick. Thank you. Of course. It is my honor. Cordelia, you will stay here with Krom. What? But, Captain! Right. I know your heart is heavy, but this is how it must be. Your night sisters will be with you in spirit wherever you go. May they give me strength. As you command, Captain. What she said. I will pray for your safety. <sighs> Come, Fila. We must go. Wait! No! You don't have to go! This is absurd! Krom? Krom, you don't... Listen to me. Walking to your own death will not bring peace to anyone. Yelise needs you. We need you! Be selfish for once in your life! I love you, Krom. Both you and Lissa are my everything. As for the peace I seek, you cannot see who it is for. I have to go. I'm sorry, I truly am. Let us embrace again in Yelistol when you arrive with Feroxy reinforcements. I know you will come. Sister. This is a terrible plan. <laughs> the blood of the first exalt flows strong in us. You and I will keep Yelise safe. I believe it with all my heart. Safe journey, Krom. Safe journey, Lisa. And I am not there. This is not my story. Sister. Im! Im! <sighs> Yeesh! We did- <laughs> we had to go all the way to the arena. But no. she's safe inside the castle, right? They invaded the castle. Fila and the others will protect her. And Con Flavia is assembling her best troops as we speak. We'll make it back home in time. I know we will. Krom, Krom say something. Say yes, of course we will. Hmm? I'm sorry, Lisa. What? Hey. Uh, fine, never mind. Let me know when you get out of your own head for a second. <sighs> Captain. Snap out of it, Captain. <laughs> okay, you have you have earned it. If I ever play a, ro a, a route where 
my avatar gets us somebody else. Congratulations, Sumia. With that one slap, you have earned yourself crom in future playthroughs. Ow! What the hell was that for? Sorry. Oh no, did I do it wrong? Captain Phyllis said sometimes a good slap will break someone out of their doldrums. Sumia, when you slap someone, you do it with an open palm. She punched him. <laughs> you just punched Crom in the face. What? Um, it's the thought that counts? Gods, that seriously hurt. <laughs> What's wrong, my dear prince? Sometimes love hurts. You're lucky to have strong women like these and not just dainty flowers about. In any case, I bring good news. The Feroxy army has finally mobilized. Every last man is itching to fight. I must say, I'm looking forward to savoring a skirmish or two myself. What? Wait, you're coming along? Right. Of course, a con must have her fun. I'm even bringing my insignificant other. Um, you're who? Exactly. Boss Leo, the oaf isn't mu good for much, but he might stop a few stray arrows. The, uh, the western con. Crom, good gods, I've been looking for you everywhere. Hmm? Is something wrong? Hmm. Mar scouts have reported back. Dark news, I'm afraid. Yulistol has fallen. <sighs> what? Right. The Plegians captured your exalt and retreated back across their lines. Gangrel has declared she to be publicly executed within the moon. What? Executed? Lisa? Lisa! The dastard's not even trying to be subtle anymore. I agree, it's an obvious trap. Right. The Mad King knew our scouts would re relay this information. It's clearly a provocation. A hot brand to the buttocks. We should consider our options carefully before jumping to any... Shepherds, we march to Plegia! Hold on. <clears throat> Well, that would be one option, yes. But perhaps we've seen enough royalty waltzing into traps for one war already, eh? I don't care if it's a trap, Basilio. He's going to murder my sister! Listen. Peace, Krom. Breathe a moment. No one's suggesting we don't act. We're simply saying we should act wisely. We'll need guts and wits in equal measure if we're to save your sister. The cons are right. All right. I think of something, Krom. I'll promise it. <clears throat> All right, Neon. I leave it to you to formulate our strategy. <sighs> Are you certain you're up to the task, Neon? It won't be easy. You hold the Exalt's life in one hand and all of ours in the other. Yeah. A responsibility I do not take lightly, but I'm equal to the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> You've got stones, at least. I like that. No hesitation. No mincing words. She's either a genius or a fool. I suppose we'll find out once we march. Hold on to your tacit Elysians. We have an exalt to save. Well, that was quick. And a paralogue. We have a lot of shops. So, Iron Axe, Sword, Concoction, there's a Battle, a Second Seal, Armor Slayer! I have money, I can sell some bullions. Take your time. We'll all need to be careful. First, sell the bullions. Do we have any other bullions? Anything left over? Nope. Then, uh, into the convoy, we are going to throw effective against armored units. It's only a D rank diddly. It's only a D rank, but hey, maybe it might be nice. And maybe buy a steel bow just because... But changes a base class at level 10 to a new class. Hmm. Because that's Master Seal and then the other shield. Second Seal, right? I'll go ahead and buy that, too. Why not? Oh, 
And what's this paralog? Peaceful Village Paralog 3. Oh, bar <laughs> Barracks End, diddly -dee. A new single event happened, and we got a bookshelf. <coughs> Let's listen in. Say, what do you do after the battle's over and you got time to yourself? I primarily read. Never mind. There, it's kind of like uh, the bop 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 the Mortal Kombat, the Nether Realms games. They have like a uh, canned dialogue that activates sometimes uh, for multiple different characters. Well, support Lisa and Gaius. Is that it? That'd be amusing. Right. Wait. So I poke through this through here and loop it over there? Nope. Nope. Not quite. Here, let me show you. First you loop, then... Oh, oh I see. That wasn't so hard. And look, it's finished! Ta-da! Oh, yeah? That's some nice work there, princess. Although I think I did everything but that twisted blue bit up in the corner. <laughs> now, now, now that you mention it, you did uh, an off... Well, I'm just tumbling over my witch, because I'm a bit of fool. Now that you mention it, you did help an awful lot, didn't you? You know, if you keep helping me, I'm never going to learn. Is that so bad? I mean, you're a princess, right? If you need something sewn, you could always just ask the royal seamstress. That is totally not how I operate, mister. I refuse to become one of those lazy nobles who can't even butter their own crumpets. Not that I've learned to do most anything useful so far. <sighs> hey, don't be so hard on yourself, princess. This stuff takes time. Yeah, maybe. It's just so frustrating when I can't do the simplest tasks on my own. Cooking, laundry, you name it. Nope. One thing at a time, princess. Practice makes perfect. Oh. Practice makes perfect? Hmm. I've never heard of that. Yep. It's a fun little saying, isn't it? Heck yeah! And I'm going to practice until my head falls off. All right, Gaius. I'm going to learn every skill that you know. <laughs> uh, but I'm not really that teaching type. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Don't be modest. Teach me stuff. Please. <laughs> Well, I suppose it's bad for him to turn down a princess. I like their dynamic. I like it. And nope, nobody else. Hmm. I guess we could at least see what this is. Hmm. We've been going for about two hours. And the last paralogue was kind of perilous. But let's see. Let's see what it has to say. And it'll open up another thing. A strangled piece. Paralogue 3. Is it going to be Victor again? My lord. My lord, look. Risen. And there's a village just ahead. Come on. Help! Help! Open the gates! The dead walk the earth! If you've any kindness in you, open the gates! We're from Woodham up the road. You know us. Please open the... Gods, no. No, they're here. Ah! Right. Hmm, the townsfolk of this village are renowned for their hospitality. How could they turn away refugees fearing for their lives? <sighs> Let's worry about saving those lives first. We can ask questions later. Well, that's harsh. First things first. Let's see. There's a bunch of risen over here. these villagers over here and that village so we definitely want to come over here wipe them out and get to these guys so definitely pair Sumia up with Frederick so they can fly over to protect these people although I wonder if I'll need Krom to talk like action them let's see who else uh, maybe I'll trade out Lisa and Gaius and put others in. Hmm. Alright, select units. And I'm deactivated as well. We need Krom in there. But he can just build up a relationship with somebody else. So, Lisa and Gaius can be taken out. Ah, maybe we can throw Cordelia in there. Hmm. Two picks is nice. And I want to level up Maribel as well. Let's see, who do we go who? You would get Sumia. I would think of... Hmm. Who would go with who? Who would go with who is the question. Because I also want to level up people's... 
like diddly da da dee. Diddly da 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 da. That is the Krachan. That is the Krachacha. Krachacha. Trying to think. Ba ba ba. I guess I'll trade out Pan as well, and we can throw. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe. Hmm. Maybe throw Pan in, and she can guard Donald. Maybe. I don't know. We'll go ahead and save over this. And let's go for the fight. I probably should have rearranged some people, but oh well. Let's see. Who will go with who? Who will go with who? Obviously, go with you. Go with you. Go with you. Hmm. Go with you, and uh, that leaves you alone, actually. So yeah, don't have the talk command. Oh, but we can pair them up. Oh yeah. Hmm. First things first. Maybe we can come up and smack this guy. Don't want to come up and smack this guy. Who has the lowest hit chance? This guy. Then there's oop, wrong thing. Then there's also this guy who's kind of scary. I could just have some Krom to annihilate him. Let's see. Ah, oh, she could do decent against him. Smack him up some. And then maybe Donnie can finish him off. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Or Krom could annihilate him. Let's go. Ah, you missed, you fool. Get poked multiple times and die. And as always, we're going to let Donnie poke this guy to death. It's hilarious. Smoke cloud and stab. Yeah. yeah. Donnie loves murder. Doesn't seem like there's anybody that would actually get them. Let's see. You kill basically anybody. And you don't, so... We'll send you here to... Hmm. The mercenary scares me more. Light him on fire! And he dies. My gratitude. Sorry, my boy, uh, stall. But a good spread of stats for the boy. Then we can go up here and smack this guy a little bit. And you miss, you fool. just uh, come over here to help. Get closer to the town. Oh, you bastard. We are going to have to annihilate this guy. You bastard. This is why I gave her the health. Burned in the snow. Worst way to go.
Now beat this guy up, Stall. Oh, they're running away, fuckers. Let's see. Darn it. He's closest, so he's the one that has to go. Talk to him. Shepard's always welcome here. Please take this with you. A blessed bow. Not exactly what I was expecting. What if we swap? And we can talk. Hey. Are you alright? <sighs> oh, thank goodness you've come. Are you here to help us? Yes. We'll hold them off. Run! Uh, understood. If we make it out alive, I'll repay you, I swear. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you can come up here and slay this guy. Get more experience. For the Donald. Donald just slowly becoming a badass. Annihilate this guy. Good job, Stall. Oh no, that's not Stall, that's Frederick. I'm dumb. My brain is just locked on Stall being somewhere with somebody. I am still locked in the previous chapter. Relief? That's what more of the, my people need. I'm going to switch to Rickon so that nobody dies. Well, that's bad. Why are you running away? They are running toward danger. Come here and then attack this guy. Let's see. Could kill him. Good. Come here. And I guess annihilate this guy, even though it puts you in big ol' danger. We need to get rid of some of these guys before they get to the... What's this? Oh, I can't wait to show Krom. Katarina's Bolt? Ancient Lightning Magic. And I have to switch, but wait, actually, they can't get to them. Good. And then I'll swap here so that we have just more speed. We'll get this and blast this guy a bit. You blocked it with a book. Good job. What are you so happy about? Did you find a puppy? Can I see it? No, I'm sorry, but could you straighten your clothes? They're not even. I'll be a friend. We'll send Stall this way. And then Donald can p kill more people. Donnie is here for murder. Now I just pray to God that the villagers don't get ganged up on up there. I would call that shenanigans. Because why are they running about like a bunch of fools? I hope that this, these guys are going to get... This guy's going to get slaughtered. That's so dumb. This is so dumb. I better need to only save one of these stupids. I swear to God. 
I better only need to say one of them. Because that's so silly and dumb and stupid. I swear. It would be so dumb. Oh, hey, crit. Neat. I better need to only save, like, one of these guys. Why do these idiots run? I guess wound this guy a bit. Probably shouldn't go through the forest, but oh well. Hmm. Come up here, kill him, level up Sumia some more. Asher. You will not harm this boy. These villagers are very silly. Once again, wish I could control my allies. Not to mention, this feels rigged against me because they're just like, ah, yes, we're going to run into the enemy. I fucking hate these guys. Can I use Vulnery? I cannot use Vulnery on these stupid fucks. That's dumb. That's so fucking dumb. Why are you running toward the enemy? Oh, great. They're fucked. They're fucked. That's it. There's nothing I can do. I'm probably gonna lose. I will reload if these stupid AIs... Like, I'm gonna run towards the big batch of enemies. That's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Don't you fucking dare. I just need to keep one of you fucks alive. I hope to God. Not to mention, dumb that all these guys are like, oh, they're fasted in the villages. No shit, dip fuck. That's so annoying. Good. Thank you. Luckily, they can't touch the other villager, else I am 90% certain they would have tried to kill him. That's so stupid. So dumb. Again, why would they run towards fucking... Fucking why, you dipshit fuck? <laughs> Just why? Why are you running into danger? Why are you running into fucking danger, you motherfucker? I'll at least send... So that he'll attack. Yeah, and I'll just keep them marching. So yeah, more than... Hmm. Let's see. Do you scare me? Not really. Do you scare me? Not really. Motherfucker can get there. Wait, but if I place somebody on this side, he won't be able to. Ha ha! Motherfucker. So yeah. Hello and welcome to we have to babysit a dipshit. It's basically what we have to do. Hmm. Well, I guess I can heal him so that... Well, it doesn't matter. They have faster speed if they actually want to fucking kill him. At this point, healing him would be pointless. Hmm. Hmm. But maybe healing Sumia might be useful? The main issue is I don't know if, like, if this guy dies, if I'll be able to then move there and heal. Hmm. I guess I will heal you. 
I'm sure that you could survive a lot, but I'd rather not risk it. A decent spread of stats. One step closer and I'll be forced to maim you. Rude. I pray to God. Don't kill this fuck. Because I do believe enemies get their move and then allies. Please don't move my ally into death zone and then let him die. Please. Enemy phase. They can't touch him. Good. You are dead. Oh yeah, Jesus. This is a rigged paralogue. Now let's see how well the Annihilation goes here. He has a Silver Lance, that's kind of scary. But he missed. And now you're going to get beat up by a rabbit. Thank God that he doesn't have a throwing weapon. That would be so annoying. If they're like, haha, I'm going to javelin the fucking little dude. That would have been so frustrating. I hardly knew I had such strength. Why do you run into danger? You stupid fuck. Guess I'll just continue healing. Leveling up Maribel a bit. I still don't know how... Oh, oh she probably... Or does that only give a certain number of heals? Thank God it is just out of the fucking range. That would be so annoying. Now the question is, who do I want to give this kill to? Do I want to give it to Pana Japan, or do I want to give it to Donnie? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll give it to Pan, she deserves it. Kill this man. Don't know why the Risen Chief was just in the back corner. Doing nothing. A nice spread of stats. And nobody else is getting close, so just end. Now annihilate this twink. Or rather, this hunk. That was something. That was something. And leveled up to B. We saved a single fucking idiot. Thank well, you. Not the words to thank you, nor the treasure to pay you, but here, take this. I didn't think people like you still existed. I'll, I'll never forget this. <sighs> Do you suppose the village will continue to bar its gates from, uh, to refugees? Right. As long as they view the Risen as someone else's problem, then yes. Ah. And they claim to love peace... Yeah, the uneasy peace found behind a barricade is nothing I'd want. Peace begins when the fighting is over and the barricades come down. I pray they can see the truth of that before it's too late. I got a seraph robe and a log. A fucking log? What the fuck's a log? Oh, they disappeared? Shit. I didn't get to fight them. Damn it. Oh well. That's what reeking boxes are for. I wonder if that's just a thing that happens if, like, uh, a dude appears on a place. If that's how it'll go. Hmm. But I think we've been going for a decent amount of time, so we will stop. N oh, first things first. Ah, supports. Frederick and Sumia. <sighs> hmm, what to do? What to do? Huh? Hello, Frederick. Is something wrong? Right. Uh, Sumia. Yes, something is wrong. This horse escaped the paddock during the night. I managed to catch it by the bridle, but the foul beast refuses to be led back. Oh. Oh, is that all? Here, let me try. Oh. No, milady, it's too dangerous. The brute is practically frothing at the mouth. This is just a repeat of what we saw early on when 
Sumi had got her Pegasus. Oh, don't be silly. There, what a nice horsey. Shh. Auntie Sumia won't hurt you, I promise. But if you stay out here, the wolves might get you. Let's get you back to your friends. <laughs> By the nine heavens! It's moving! <sighs> we'll be fine, Frederick. I'll make sure this brave guy gets back safe. Always impressive. You have a gift, milady. I thought the creature would die on this very spot. No. Oh, he just needed some encouragement is all. It's kind of like how you aid and motivate Krom. Humans and horses both need friends to lean on sometimes. I see. Still, you performed a great service, and I am in your debt. You know me. Oh, really, it's not a big... <laughs> Do not be modest, milady. I might have wrestled that beast all day without you. <sighs> yes, possibly. Except, well, the thing is, see, last night I fed the horses. And you know the latch on the gate, the one you're supposed to close? Well, there's a teensy tiny... Teensy tiny possibility I might have left it kind of open. Right. By the gods! So it is you who let this demon beast free! <laughs> That's amusing. I want to see. I wonder if... Hmm. Is that only the people that she's, like, actually paired with? But I don't think she ever paired with Gaius. Or Cordelia. So, do only some characters are capable of having affinities of some characters? Interesting. Rickon and Muriel. Huh? Yeah? Wind! Uh, Elwind! Uh, fire! Uh, that's good for now. Hmm? You're awfully quiet over there, Muriel. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you practicing spells. So I guess you just read and think a lot? Right. Vigorous thought suits me. There's less grunting. Hmm. But don't you want to actually try out the stuff you're learning? Indeed. The testing of hypotheses through experimentation is a paramount of import. Listen. Uh, Muriel, what did you just grab? What are you staring at a glass of water? Huh? I've immersed two distinct metals in this solution. Now to apply a charge. Thunder! Ah! <laughs> Success. How pleasant. Whoa, they both look like the same metal now. How'd you do that? Permit me to it's merely a thin coating of particles freed from the sample by the spell's energy. I have absolutely no idea what that means, but it's simply amazing. So does that have some kind of combat use or something? No. None whatsoever. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that, I like their dynamic too. I like a bunch of these characters' dynamics. Oddly, the only dynamic that's kind of weird to me is initially... The avatars and croms. That's funny. Yeah, we've been going for a while. Next time we'll probably do a, again, open up with a bunch of reeking box grinding of people's affinities and stuff. Like the people that I'll bring into battle more often. And then once they're like leveled up and have relationships together, we'll see about things. And then I'll, then I'll, then I'll have to like plot out who I want to pair with who like romantically. With the S ranks, I guess, because they are re re resigned to marriage, I suppose. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel that I swear content is coming to is uh, Neon Icy Wings, where, like I said, reviews, thoughts, introspectives, introspectives, retrospectives, well, many kind of spectives. Just videos that are actually edited and scripted will exist there. And then if you want to watch me play games live or watch streams and recordings of games past, you can follow me on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games, where, again, I stream and upload gaming content, like this Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough, Mass Effect Trilogy playthrough I did, a, like, last year? I think it was last year. My brain is on fire. Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Digimon Survive, just a bunch of games that I played in the past. And if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neonicywings. Then if you also like my little avatar in the corner, you can watch me, well, you can see me upload various arts to various sites like DeviantArt, Twitter, Newgrounds, Tumblr, Pillowfort, Inkblot, so many sites, Blue Sky, all of those links should be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. The direct link can be found in descriptions and bios, wherever. And um, also included in there will be my 
writing, if you so desire, as well as my Patreon, if you want to throw a dollary do my way to ease the pain of the evil's world. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.